first chancellor, I used to call him the first chancellor. She's a wonderful woman, a visionary person, a great teacher, and a game changer. I'm not giving all this accolade in fame because of the impact she has made since the first day she was inducted as the first chancellor of this uh, great university. When she came in, there are only seven students in the whole school. And she called us because I was the uh, acting dean, the acting dean of a college of natural and applied sciences. That's how you go to do to get more students. So I don't know. But with uh, we got help and uh, with uh, the perseverance and the success for student drive, the population started increasing. It's just like a miracle. I don't know how she did she got the energy to do it, but it's just like, like a miracle. That's why I call her a game changer and a efficient person. She set her goals and she goes she goes for it. Then when she came, we are operating on the two colleges. That is the College of Natural and Applied Sciences and College of Management, Arts and Social Sciences. But later, we had the College of Basic Medical Sciences coming on board. Maybe that we have a nursing. Now, the other College of Basic Medical Sciences are split into two now. We have a College of Basic Medical Sciences and a College of Nursing. Then later on, we had a the College of uh, Law. So, all along, all, all in all, we are having um, five colleges possibly. And since the time she came on board, the first application we did, we knew that uh, uh, since there was nothing, there was no hope that she did a application for nine programs, and to the glory to the glory of God, we had a hundred percent. That is, we are not given an interim accreditation. All the nine programs were accredited. All right, now all the nine programs were accredited. The programs are um, mass communication, political science, psychology, economics, accounting, accounting and finance. And then we have a microbiology and sciences, biochemistry, then the computer science. Then the Department of Computer Science turned around equally split into three programs where we have a computer science, BSc Computer Science, BSc Cyber Security, and BSc um, Software Engineering. All these things were achieved during the time, the channel of a my first chancellor, because she's, she was always on our toes. So we need to bring in more programs, we need to bring in more students, we need to expand the school, and we always making real the lecturers to be on our toes, and encouraging us to publish in the reputable journals, and to really really try to be a known globally, and encouraging us to go to for Encouraging the people that are here to have their um, PhD degree to have their PhD degrees. He knew when they gave them the time that is a day in a week to go and see their supervisors. And equally, she made uh, available the fund available for us to, to attend the conferences, whether international conferences or MUCA conferences. So she's always encouraging us in terms of uh, academic achievement. I can see, I can continue to say on and on and on, on because uh, um, she's more or less at the Christian University on her own. And what normally amazes me is that I don't know where she gets that energy from that she, been, she used to work with. She will put you on, on, on your toes, give you an assignment. If you are not taking when you open your phone in the middle of the night, you're not able to sleep again because I don't know whether she sleeps or she doesn't sleep. I thought she would give me that around 2 a.m. There was a day I was amazed that when I just, my phone just uh, gave in the middle of the night and when I look at it, it 
for the message from the PC concerning your dedication. That was around 3 a.m. I said, oh, wow, this normal man was in there. She doesn't see it. Oh, what is the problem? So, when I now see my head doing this, who am I not to bottle up and to catch up with it? Then I tell her, after the first round of accreditation, we had another round of accreditation for 11 programs. And uh, by the, the special grace of God and with the, uh, the power of the Almighty God, all the 11 programs were fully accredited. The programs are BSc Mathematics, BSc uh, Chemistry, and BSc Cyber Security, BSc uh, Software Engineering, and um, the, the BSc Public Health were accredited. Then, along the line, we had a um, medical language science. After verification and accreditation, all these things were achieved on the table of the vice chancellor. So it's, you know, so we are soon transformed the Christian University from the meeting place where we started. Because when we started, we started with, as I said, we started with only seven students. And uh, then I was thinking that, uh, oh, will this university survive? Will this university go? But when she came on board, she changed a lot of things. Yeah, we thank God today. We are able to see one of our 8,000 students. And uh, we must have said, from the two faculties, from two faculties or colleges, we are having five colleges now. For the few departments that we are running them, we have seven departments in the school. So, I do my glory to the Almighty God. And I am coming, um, thank God for our life. I thank God for our life. She said, Oh, mother. That I, how I wish I could be able to walk the way she, she walks. Even as a, like, a, a man like myself, how I wish I would be able to have that energy to walk the way she walks. This is a very dedicated person. Highly dedicated. The road was not smooth. There are so many house and down. Uh, in terms of, uh, at times, you have something that will not encourage you that one. Because I remember that was a day she was nearly moved to tears when she was expressing her mind to me about uh, something that was going on in the school. But we keep on encouraging ourselves, we thank God. Then I see that she's, because she's uh, a person that knows what exactly she wants to do. In terms of discipline, it's an embodiment of discipline. It's a highly disciplined area. Highly disciplined area. Time for staff, time for students. She so tries to see discipline. She doesn't condone laziness. She doesn't condone indiscipline. I thank God for her life. I don't know how I would die if I would work for some other first chancellors that might be as serious as serious. Well, everybody has his own type of leadership. If, um, when she came in one day, she came to my, she came to this office, to my office. She sat down in the office first year, and she was telling me that her uh, whole door is open to any comment, any time of the day. So I can see that uh, she's a person that has a missing years to what people are saying. She's not a dictatorship. She's not, she, she doesn't uh, say that this is what I want and it will be so. It's a mistress of what people are saying. Although, as I said, she doesn't condone discipline. That is one thing for her. She doesn't condone indiscipline and she doesn't condone laziness. But her habits, she's a reasonable woman. Tell us some things like this. At times she will be furious. No, 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 I don't know this though, I don't know this though. So in a way, she operates uh, in the open door policy. 
to her kids and they opened their policy, you know, that she's ready to, she's ready to wear common ideas and not that as it was, I've said this, I've said this. Most of the people, they will say that I'm the chief executive of, his, of a particular place and whatever I say is, nobody changes it. But that is not our own thing. If you say something like this, I will mean, talk to her and I will instead of going like this, I will change it. Think about like this. I'll say, okay. If you want to buy that, that's all right. The last podcast is going to progress with the school. So she's as is having a reason here, she accommodates contribution from people. She's not a dictatorship person. She is operates on the open door policy and the as the versus do on the um committee basis. She comes a lot of committees to be assisting her. To be doing the work. So that is about our administrative parties. As I said, she is a workaholic. I wish mean, her to be progressing in life because she has used all her energy since the time she was in this university, she has become a more. She did everything she has in this place. And I see her in a, in a better place than the doing the first things along. And um, I want to read this one that each is not on her side against she so slow it down a little bit so that uh, she will have a little bit of time to rest. So but as I said, I pray for a higher level for her because she is this place. I pray for a higher level. I don't want to say whether I'm a minister or whatever, but God knows the best. God knows the best. I pray to the Almighty God that God should put her in a very good position and a very high level. We are so incredibly useful to good God and humankind.